What's up guys, Jordan from Red Creek. Uh, last time you saw me, I was probably about three or four weeks into the season. We stopped recording a little bit, got our hands dirty and got to work. Today, we're actually prepping for a tractor to be out here. Up to this point, we've been moving everything by hand, which I'm very proud of. We've been working like ants out here, but um, now that we're gonna have some heavy equipment, heavy equipment, quote unquote heavy equipment, it's a baby bobcat, but what we're gonna be doing is pushing a lot of the staging back creating more lanes, more opportunity to park more people, um, especially during the coronavirus right now. We wanna keep groups six feet apart. Um, having more space is essential to conducting business out here. So that's one of the tasks that the, that the uh, baby Bobcat's gonna have. Um, is pushing some of this back, grooming some of this area, making it more conducive to parking. Um, if I had it my way, we'd probably have just 100 acres out here off to the side of the road with a nice square parking lot, but obviously we've got plenty of trees in the way. So I'm chopping stuff down with the chainsaw today. Um, also prepping for, for next week in the tractor, we're gonna be marking out some spaces where we're going to dig ditches, dig bunkers, create some trenches. That seems to be an exciting theme when we put it out on Instagram of, hey, what do you guys wanna see if we have a tractor? Obviously everyone thinks digging, obviously everyone like, hey, what about a mounds filled? Hey, what about a trench filled? And I'm like, ah. Oh. That would be great. We've only got it for 48 hours, so I doubt we'll create in a whole entire new field. We probably could if that was just the project we had going on, um, but you're gonna see some trenches and some lower level ground. Um, as a paintball tip in terms of building bunkers, um, if you're watching this and you, you wanna build a bunker, I always think of bunkers in multiple different ways. So there's high, mid and low bunkers. Low bunkers obviously being dug into the ground and secured at the bottom. Anytime you have a variety of those throughout the field, you're gonna have a good success of a lot of different angles and a lot of different ways to shoot. So you wanna mix up what kind of bunkers you put on your field, it seems obvious, but for someone who hasn't spent a lot of time thinking about that, make sure your field has a variety of those throughout so you create a lot of different shooting angles. So, okay, just me today, me and my dog. I gotta get back to work. I'm gonna show you a little bit about what we're working on and some of the progress on the field. Um, this video should drop probably about a week's worth of shooting it. We had some back footage that we're slowly rolling out to the public now, so that's where we're at. One of the tools I'm gonna talk about right now is sounds, again, very obvious, but maybe you don't know this. If you're creating your own paintball field, you need to have one of these guys. Um, having drone footage, um, not even for the video, but for the photo side of things actually helps you map out in real time what you're able to do. Because right now we've got a plan in place for what I'm doing today. But to get a good snapshot above the earth, you know, three, 400 meters above in the sky as a good layout, now you're going to be able to see your entire property and how it's progressing. So in addition to you know the photos that we get here it's actually a really good tool to seeing what's above how this looks from the satellite view um, you could use google maps if you've got something kind of recent but now you're kind of adjusting and like okay this was taken at six months ago and six months ago from this time this field has changed dramatically so you don't have a good real-time idea as to what your field is looking like um, if you're going for something too far, now you could get a good gauge as to how you can best utilize your time and where you might need a bunker or two in regards to that. Um, what Red Creek does at Red Creek Exclusive is we fly the drone over, um, over the field prior to every game, get a good snapshot of the field, and we create um, maps that we can hand out to our players, um, to our generals, to our leadership, to our refs to understand and acclimate themselves to where they are on the map. Um, we walk this field all the time, but we realize that our customers don't. So we have to keep them, I guess, what's the word? You have to keep them not aligned, but you have to keep them aware of where your boundaries are, um, how you could play a certain field, what your strategy is. I'm a big chess guy, I'm a big strategy guy, so the more tools that I have at my disposal to develop a strategy, 
I would appreciate even if it's, you know, a player doing this, but here we are the field offering a full experience for our players and creating these maps and creating these things of what we can do and utilize those. So maybe I'll show a couple of maps that we've made. It's come a long way since we first started doing this, but this drone, I've got a Mavic Air here, um, about a thousand dollar drone when I, the first time I bought it. Um, this is by far paid itself back in multiple ways. In addition to getting awesome footage and everything else, this has served as one of the best tools that you can have out here in a part with your chainsaw so there you go that's a quick drone review as to how we use it and what we do with it all right guys we just finished up a huge day out here at red creek it's just myself and my dog this time so limit limited yes didn't have a ton of hands out here but that's okay still got a lot done a lot planned on for next week that's the biggest thing with all this is when you have a ton of help you gotta have a plan so i needed to come out here and plan get a good idea as to what we're going to be doing next week we're going to be grading this out this whole center piece is going to be graded this is about 40 by 40 yards ish as i would say and then you've got all this path and stuff going to be cleared up with the tractor i'm really going to be grateful to kind of have this stuff out of the way and a little bit more runnable is what i'd say and we're going to have some new post holes dug with that in addition to that we're going to try to bit <laughs> we're going to try to dig some trenches out here and start building some rolling hills which is really exciting um you haven't seen that before from our field just yet mainly because it is a pain in the ass to dig out here i probably would have already hand dig some trenches but it is more than difficult to try and dig out here so that's exciting it was a huge day out here so this is the week before tractor prepped a lot of stuff got some good notifications out to the paintball community we are moving forward with june 6 which is our first game it's going to be exciting to see some of the behind the scenes there we're going to bring the camera along the gopro along the drone along get everything going and just get acclimated out here again for the first of the year first of the season so it's exciting thanks for tuning in check us out on shootersonly.us if you're watching outside of utah support us there and buy yourself a shirt buy yourself some gear consider your next paintball purchase by visiting shootersonly.us in addition to that check out red creek paintball um, our site and our facebook page are both have a ton of information about what we do out here um, instagram and facebook as well those are all linked up in the description so thank you for tuning in and watching another awesome video we'll check you out soon next week is tractor week let's go